What's up, my friends? I'm Carlos. This is Olia. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today we have a new release from the House of 80s of Anustas called Musk and Sanse. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we have a brand that is named after the iconic perfume shop, 80s of Anustas in the West Village, but they're no longer in the West Village. They recently moved to the Lower East Side. I believe they're the first perfume shop in that area. So best of luck to you. I have to come by and see you, Carl, I promise. They came out with their own line, 80s of Anustas in 2012. Mm -hmm. They have nine fragrances in total. This is their ninth release and it's called Musk and Sante. It was composed by Ralph Schweiger. The notes are clary sage, green notes, cashmere, and jasmine woody notes, tonka bean, musk, and incense. It retails for $2.45 for a 100 ml bottle. There you go, my love. Spoiler alert, she loves it. <laughs> well, I smelled it last. Yes. We tried to do this before, but there was some technical difficulties. <laughs> some, um... Mouth technical difficulties. <laughs> blooper, epic blooper. I'm sure you guys saw that video. If yeah. not, you gotta check it out. We had that. We had definitely an epic blooper. But I love this, you know, and the reason why I do like this is A, I love creamy scents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything creamy, I'm like all over it. Um, but this is dry, incense -y. It has this kind of like. Tonka bean to me has this almond type of um, nutty. A nutty, yeah. Which I really, really like because it gives it kind of depth and. What I like the most is that it's very wearable musk. It doesn't go too powdery. It doesn't go too anamolic. It's not dirty at all. Exactly. You know, so it's a perfectly balanced one. And I can see this is a, you know, perfect scent for both men and women during the day, seasonless. Mm -hmm. You know, this is kind of perfect for everything in every setting, which what makes this so, so good for me. It's a cozy, comfy musk. It's mm -hmm. very warming. It's good for cold months. I think a little bit more than the summer. Really? I, I mean, I think sprayed lightly, perhaps. Yeah. But if you put on a lot of this, it might be a little much. Yeah. It's cozy and it's um creamy, like you said. It's um, not overly incense -y, so it's wearable, like you said. And it's not overly musky. So it's definitely a good wear on skin, meaning it's not challenging and you can wear it at work or wherever you would want to wear it. Yeah. It could definitely be a daily fragrance. Totally. I can totally see it. And like as a, one of those things that you keep coming back to, maybe not necessarily your signature, you know, just because that seems to be very kind of on the lighter end. And I feel mm -hmm. like some people try to go for something with a lot more depth. This is perfect for me for office, for running errands, kind of in the first half of the day. Mm -hmm. Personally, for the evening, I would go for something a little more sultry, a little darker, yeah. deeper. But for every day during the day, great. I agree. Is it my favorite from the line? No, only because there are several that I really, really, really love. I like this one. They have some it's really nice. amazing ones. Their first initial release, the 80s of Anusa, is crazy black Quran. It's beautiful. I know. And I say black, cor black Quran. It's black current, really. Yeah. It's really <laughs> nice. And then they have a beautiful Iris Nazarena, which mm -hmm. I love. Totally. This I love is that. for people who are fans of, like, Andrea Mack collection. Yeah. Or even know. Comme de Garçon totally. incense. Yeah. I can see this also um, a little bit in that uh, biredo kind of transparency. Mm -hmm. If you're used to those scents with that kind of wear and transparency, I think this is very clean, very modern, you know, very um, kind of spicy, dry, warm at the same time. And it reminds me of that kind of direction that biredo sometimes on some of their fragrances take. So a different musk take that's definitely enjoyable. If you're a musk fan, this is definitely something that you should check out. Yeah. Absolutely. I love this fragrance and I think it's, you know, it's very versatile. And I think that, you know, if you are crazy enough to build a collection kind of like we do where <laughs> it tips over a few hundreds, then um, that's one thing. But if you're looking for that one scent that you can wear um, a lot, you know, you can get a lot of wear out of it. I think this is perfect. Awesome. So I would love to share a 10 mil decant with one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Subscribe to Scent Menu. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about our video today. 
If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on the reviews, the content, giveaways, and all the friggin' fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I will see you at the next review.